Hello there and welcome to the final episode here of Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Roger, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill. As 2014 has come to an end, as we welcome to the show the head baseball coach of your Southeastern Lions, Coach Matt Roger. And Coach, what a tremendous run your team had this year. I just finished up in the Baton Rouge Regional. Uh, you go one and two on the weekend, but man, that was some exciting baseball. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the world really got a chance to see uh, what, what type of club we had. You know, we've been talking about for years and years of, of trying to get in that NCAA regional, and obviously last week we won that conference tournament. They couldn't keep us out of it. We got the automatic bid, and I think the guys did a fantastic job of not being satisfied. They went in there with, with something to prove and, and trying to. I obviously do more and I obviously figured you know, first time in 20 years might as well make the most out of it and I thought they did. They competed extremely hard and played really well. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. The Lions go over to Baton Rouge and really compete this weekend. So they knock off Bryant, they drop a tough one to LSU and also Houston. And you really, you look at the weekend coach and you know, really two innings is kind of what sets you back and maybe you win the regional. Yeah, I think you go back and you look at it, I think it's one positive part. Obviously it's, it's a negative, but it's a positive as well because you look at it leaving there going, uh, we're the best team that was at the regional. Uh, you know, besides two innings, the eighth inning against LSU and the second inning against Houston, I thought we outcompeted all three clubs. And so uh, it, it allows you to walk out of that regional with some confidence, obviously, for years to, to come and uh, show that we can play at any level. The Lions opener in the Baton Rouge Regional was against LSU, and it was an exciting one. Let's check out the highlights. It was a packed house on Friday afternoon, 2 o'clock first pitch, as Southeastern would take on LSU at Alec Box Stadium. And, Coach, this one got started with a bang. <laughs> yeah, Andrew Cabo comes up. 0-2 uh, count. They try to bury a, a break ball down and in on him, and he does a fantastic job of hitting the hanger out of the stadium. And I tell you what, there's not a whole lot of time. The Oxford Stadium is quiet, but uh, you could hear the crickets there and our Southeastern fans loud and proud there. No doubt, as there was a lot of SLU chants taking place. And, you know, that's just a great way to start uh, when you're on the road in a game where uh, you know, you're, you're the underdog uh, and do a great job. And this was a great situation by Andre Jutora to pitch out of a big jam in the first inning. Yeah, you know, we come out, we get the, the first blood, and also they come back. You know, the, the LSU Tigers, they are the great club. They come back out and put some pressure on us. But uh, that's why Andre Jutora is the best pitcher in the South Conference. Goes out there and does a fantastic job of eliminating the situation. And even here, you know, we give up the pass ball. Now they got to run it third and one out. But again, he pitches out of it and, and keeps it a 1 1 ball game for us. Lions and the Tigers tied at one to one. Um, great play here by Sam Robertson. Uh, LSU does add a run, but once again, Chatora gets out of a jam, uh, keeps it a two to one ball game, and your team does, does not freak out. You're down two to one, but you come right back. Yeah, you know, uh, Andre, I tell you, really was uh, magnificent all night long, and uh, did a fantastic job of just dominating the strike zone. They got some infield hits. I think they ended up with five infield hits, but that's credit to LSU. shoot. They battled, battled. That's why you put the ball in play, and, and you got to give yourself a chance. But uh, you know, obviously Andre had his stuff going. I think he really did a fantastic job of not only showing that he's one of the best pitchers in Southland Conference, but also one of the best pitchers in the country. Here's a little rally your team would have uh, in the top of the fifth. You're down two to one. Uh, Kyle Setatal comes up and gets a single, and then Jacob Williams absolutely crushes one into the alley, and Setatal is able to score from first off of a very talented pitcher in Poche. Yeah, you know, uh, Jacob Williams did a fantastic job of being aggressive. He got a pitch he could handle out over the plate and split a gap with it, and when you get that kind of speed on the bases, uh, with Kyle Setatal, is able to score him all the way from first with one out there, and uh, just show we're not going anywhere. You know, we're, we're in a ball game, we're ready to rock and roll, and uh, tied up 2-2 two to two here in the fifth. Very nice job by your club rallying. Here's your interview with ESPN uh, during the ball game, which is a, a nice way to get some exposure for the program as well. As uh, This was a great job and a great sequence in the game. Daniel Midget had an 0-2 count, fights for a walk, and then you're able to get to Sam Robertson. As you're going to see throughout all the highlights, he was locked in all weekend. Yeah, you know, well, this goes back to us being aggressive. Uh, Daniel Mediat does a fantastic job of reading a ball in the dirt, uh, gets himself in scoring position, and starts putting pressure on that defense. And so, also, you know, now that he's winning the ball in the dirt, uh, Poche had to come back and then kind of hang the break ball. He couldn't finish it off. And Sam Robertson does a fantastic job of lacing that circuit to left field. And as quiet as it was in the first inning, somehow or another it was even quieter in that sixth inning uh, with that big two-run knock to make it 4-2. to two. The Lions not a home run hitting team, but go into the box and play a little gorilla ball, their second home run of the ball game. As at this point, uh, you're in the sixth inning and you're up 4-2. to two. Uh, And Chutora would go out and have a pretty easy inning in the bottom of the sixth. So you head into the seventh. Uh, with a 4-2 to two lead. As you can see, the Southeastern fans really excited, and this ball was absolutely crushed. It was a no-doubter. Yeah, it definitely was a no-doubter, and uh, like I said, just fantastic job of Sam. Uh, not trying to do too much. He got a decent pitch. He hung it, 
and put a barrel on it and off it at Oxbox State and the ball flew out of the ballpark there with the wind blowing out. So, uh, yeah, we did a fantastic job of going right back to it. Andro comes back out again and, and, and dominates the zone. You can see the excitement there with our guys uh, as we're starting to feel a little bit. This is the bottom of the seventh. LSU were tied in this inning. Uh, Alex Bregman led off the inning by getting hit by a pitch. He comes back, gets a big strikeout of Fraley. Uh, and then he would have a walk, and you'd have to go to your bullpen. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, the two runs he scored were, were both free passes. Uh, but again, it goes the credit to, to the LSU offense, man. They just kept battling and battling. And uh, you can see Skavik here uh, laces a single to left field to score a run and make it 4-3 uh, to put the, put the day in to, to Andro. And really, I'll be honest with you, I think the zone ball really hit hard off of Andro. Uh, we go to the bullpen to Matt Pateri. They dink one in there to left field and uh, tied up 4-4. Four, four. And then we go to, to Dylan Hills after that, and we get, uh, get out of the inning to, to go in the eighth inning. Big strikeout as uh, they would have a big inning and take the, the win in this one, 8-4 to four in Game 1. Coach, obviously a tough loss uh, in Game 1 against LSU. And, man, you know, our crowd was fantastic. And I've told several people, as a Southeastern sports fan, when God bowled homer in the first and then when Sam hit the two-run homer later in the ball game, um, the stadium was silent, and it was nothing but SLU, SLU. It was a really a special moment for South Asian Athletics. Yeah, not very often you're going to see that at Alex Box Stadium. Uh, I thought we had a great fall and a great crowd. Uh, we sold more tickets than Houston and Bryant combined for the regional, and uh, you saw support. They were there loud and proud, and uh, obviously from, from the first pitch to the last pitch, I thought our guys competed. Uh, like you said, they had the two big home runs. We came out, uh, out of the gate and showed we weren't intimidated by, by the stands or by the fans or obviously it was across their chest. We came out to compete and I uh, thought we had a good show and obviously besides that late inning. So the Lions' backs were against the wall as they would take on Bryant. Uh, the next day, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at those highlights right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Roser, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill. Stay with us. Yeah. 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 